Wave goodbye to summer and hello to autumn. It's September, and that means fall is just around the corner. This month, team is highlighting ESL ministries, those using English language tutoring to build relationships and share the gospel around the world. In this month's prayer focus, which is on the blog today, read the powerful story of Lenka, who found God through an English class taught by Samantha, a team missionary in Ukraine. Samantha says that ESL is a great way to give legitimacy to missionaries, to help meet needs in the community, and to create opportunities to build relationships. I love ESL because it really allows you to uh, get to know people and just gives you an in. So English uh, gives a really natural way uh, to meet people, to introduce people, and to connect uh, people who want to learn English with local churches who offer English ministry. Click the link in the description or visit team.org slash blog today to read Lenka's story and find specific ways you can pray for ESL ministries that are opening the door for people to hear the gospel all around the world. But that's not all. We have more ESL goodness coming at you in September. Our ministry update takes us to Mexico, where team missionaries Jan and Paul Vandermeer built a trusted friendship with Aitana and her family through their English center, leading Aitana to put her faith in Christ. Later this month, we answer the big question, how do I become a missionary? with five steps that will get you from your couch to the mission field. Then, prepare your taste buds for Picado de Rabano, a delicious recipe from Guatemala on this month's Team Eats. And finally, coming up on the blog in a few weeks is a striking story of a missionary who came to a breaking point when sacrificing in the name of Christ meant neglecting his own family's needs. Find out how scripture gave him the clarity he needed. That's what we've got coming to you this month Follow Team on all your favorite social media sites or platforms so you won't miss any of these amazing stories.